back on another adventure. I got the Freya dog with us. She's uh, pretty excited. Wouldn't let me leave her home, so she said she's going to be a good girl. But we're out on a salt chuck lake, southeast Alaska today. It's not the best weather, but that's southeast Alaska for you. It might get nice, it might not. I can't tell if those are bears over there or not. Been a lot of bear sightings lately. Beautiful day though. We're going to go do some exploring, maybe catch a fish. A little bit of harvesting off the seashore maybe. Spend some quality time. Went to wait in front of my canoe. Someone couldn't wait to get to shore, I guess. Oh, it'll be a kid again. Pretty shallow right here. Probably gonna have to drag anyway pretty quick. And the stick games begin. Can't start quite yet though, Freya. Looks like there's a creek that's running out of here. I haven't checked to see them. I'm guessing it's a creek. If it's not salt water, then it should be a creek, but we're in this salt chuck lake. It's probably has about a five foot tide. It's not like the main ocean where it's probably, you know, 18 to 22 feet. We gotta get the canoe up high enough that it won't float away in the night. But we need to find some place to camp too. So I'm thinking up inside those trees somewhere would be a good spot. There's some sandhill cranes out there. Big stately mountain right there, can't see the top of it. Well, the sun decided to peek its head through the clouds a little bit. And we got that canoe up here on shore. We were over there, decided to move over here. We're gonna go check that out. Canoe should be fine. Hoping there'd be some sea asparagus here, but I'm not seeing any. Deer tracks. Looking for some fresh bear tracks. Hopefully there's not too many. This grass will make you wet quick. It's an old plane crash. Look at that. Oh, dirty dog. That grass will clean you off. World, World War II. Now don't go getting cut for a sharp metal. Class of 13. Let's see if I can not slip like you did. Looks like the engines have been taken out. Lots of names carved in here. Craig, Alaska, 1985, Kentucky. Somebody, somebody even told me that there was some movie actors' names inscribed in here. Maddie, 
83, 2003, 2009, 93, 2013. It's like an old. Not much, not much left. It's been picked through pretty soon. No, you don't get cut for you. I guess this would have been the cabin right before the pilot's seats. Two thousand. Lewis and Clark. <laughs> 1804 Keith Smith 82 82 Chuck B pretty interesting place pretty interesting plane I did a little bit of research the airport's not too far from here I'm not sure if it was in then at the time it may have been but it didn't make it only a few miles from there by air so they touched down here on this salt chuck flat and nobody died, but it was a World War II plane. I'll try to look up some more information and put in some subtitles for you. But my parents, today is their anniversary. So happy anniversary, mom and dad. I'm sure you're having a great day in Minnesota. I'm sure that you guys had a nice dinner and probably settling in for the night now, but we love you. Love you from Alaska. Now we gotta figure out where to camp. She's a hungry lion. Looking for her stick. Definitely should have brought my rain pants today. Totally forgot. It's gonna be wet. These pants dry out pretty good, but eh, probably not in this weather. Hoping for a bunch more driftwood for fires. I'll be a little bit tricky tonight. We're gonna go try and catch some fish when the tide's coming in. And the wind's blowing the same way as the tide. It makes for a tough paddle. Freya says, we can do it. That's one thing I love about the mountains. Even on a cloudy day, you'll see sunshine on the side of the mountain somewhere. Poking through the sky. Come on, let's go. Come on, in the boat. Come on. Come on, in the canoe. Come on. Come on. Let's go explore. Let's go explore. Come on. I know you can explore on land. Come on. Here. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Let's go see what we see up here. Definitely some ravens around today. Hopefully there's not a fresh bear kill. The fawns are dropping pretty pretty quick right now. And the deer like to come out and forage here in the shore. Lots of lots of greens. All kinds of stuff. I haven't seen any fish jumping. But I wonder if there's some in here, huh, Freya? Let's go tuck up in here in one of these bends and see if we can't catch a fish. What to do, huh, Freya? Make sure you get out. Explore on foot. Let me know if there's any bears in there.
Well, we're not finding any fish in here, but we'll give it some more casts and maybe try out in the lake. I would think there'd be some in here, but we're gonna find out. When that lip hits the bottom of the river creek, it makes it feel like a fish grabbed it. And then one trick I use with braided line, which I love braided line, fire line's my favorite, is I, tr I tie a stiff piece of monofilament. This is a 16 pound monofilament and it keeps it, otherwise the, that braided line so limp after, especially after you've used it for a while, it gets wrapped around the rod tip. It keeps it from the treble hooks getting caught on it as well as the uh, rod tip. Try another spot. This is all tidal area. You can tell by all the slippery rocks. It's underwater for a good portion of the day. So we're going to have to tie the canoe up pretty high tonight. So it's there in the morning. Spot didn't work out. It's way too shallow, way too gradual. We'll go try the, the creek again a few times. Well, it's been frustrating so far. Um, no fish, except for one little one. Um, try to get this fire going. We've had almost an inch of rain in the last day here in Southeast Alaska. Um, I did get a fire going. Hopefully it stays going. We can have a hot meal tonight, but no guarantees. With wet wood, it'll, it'll burn, but it doesn't burn super hot. So, I'm going to put the tent up in the woods. We're going to go from there. Sitka spruce boughs. Looks like it's burning pretty decent. Hopefully, we have some coals here shortly. Got to set up camp for tonight. I think we're just going to go up in this tall grass. Hopefully, we don't have any bear visitors. But we should be good up here. Not out of the wind, but we got the tent. We should be good. I seriously misjudged the high tide. Thought we had more time than we did. It put the fire out. So there goes our hot meal for tonight. I guess we're just gonna have to deal with it. I can try bringing it up on shore. Maybe we'll try that quick. Looks like most of our coals are out though. The canoe is gonna be floating soon if it's not already. Our tent should be okay. Lots to learn. I 
probably got it going again. I don't know if it'll actually stay going. I cheated. I brought my lantern with. And I used my lantern oil. It might have just been a waste, but we're going to find out. Well, normally I cook over the coals, but tonight we're desperate. I don't know how long this fire is going to stay going. So I want to put the pan on there now and we're going to take it from there. Beautiful night though. Just rugged Alaska. What do you think, Freya? Should we cook it? Should we cook it? She's all stick till there's steak on the menu. Spices. Take it out of the pan. It's hot. Burn your mouth. Bray keeps looking back into the woods, hoping we are not attracting any other four legged animals tonight. Here you go. Usually I cook dinner quite a ways farther from camp than where I sleep. But this tide got me. Tastes salty. Well, that tide keeps creeping up higher and higher. It's right at our feet right now. I don't think it's going to get too much higher, but something definitely to have to watch. I would think with this grass being up here like this. It's not going to get higher than that. But we'll have to keep an eye on it. You don't want to wake up to no canoe. I already went swimming for my other boat this week. I was out on a point fishing and the wind was blowing pretty good and uh, caught a couple cutthroat trout. I had them up on shore and I looked back and my boat was floating away. I had to swim for it. That would have been a good video, but such is life. Well, there's things you can control, things you can't. I can't control the tides. That water came right up into the fire. I don't have a bag to put the potatoes in, so I can't save them really. I guess I can just leave them in there, but. Always things to learn when you're out in the woods and on the water. And I'm a, I'm a Midwestern guy, don't know a lot about the ocean still. I've been in Alaska for almost two years, and I thought I knew a little bit, but I guess I don't know much. I looked at what I thought was the high water line, and I was wrong. The fire is 
definitely being distinguished right now. Well, it's a little after 10 right now. Our campsite got swamped out and we're the last place we thought we'd be, which is back in the canoe. Freya doesn't seem to mind. We have work tomorrow. Uh, I was planning on getting up around 4, 4.30, making a quick breakfast and heading home, but thinking we might just have to call this trip.